does that look like? Hey, I went I went wider with the frame. Do you like Do you like it wider? I think it looks good. Like I can do I can do this now and I'm still in frame. Before when it was more cropped in, I couldn't really move. I didn't feel like I could move. Big shocker. It is raining again in San Diego today. I had dreams and ideas of going to the beach and showing off some new gear that I have. Uh, but I can't do that today because it's raining again. So first off today, subscribers. Wow! In my last video, I announced that this channel hit 1,000 subscribers, which was crazy. It, it's taken like, I think it's taken a year to go to 1,000 subscribers. And then just this past week, you guys took it to, I think like 1,700 subscribers. That's crazy. And thank you. If you haven't subscribed yet, you should, you should do that. That would be cool. Today I am pulling directly from the comments from Claire Grant, who said a bunch of other really nice things first. Thank you. And then she said, I know you made a video about your bag, but I think it'd be cool to see like how you set it up slash what you carry in it, as well as the other bag I see you carrying around sometimes. I'd love to see that. Keep up what you're doing. Thank you, Claire. That was super, super nice comment of you. People tell me about the YouTube comments being like super mean and trolls everywhere. You guys are great. I've loved your comments, so thank you. Comment below, hopefully something nice. Back to Claire's comment. Today I am, I'm not gonna do a what's in your bag video because I haven't figured that out yet. I do, I vlog, I do this kind of setup, and I'm a professional photographer, but I shoot weddings and events and those bags are different. Every bag is different. So I don't know which bag you guys wanna see. You either wanna see the vlog, what's in my bag, wedding photography, what's in my bag, the event photography, what's in my bag, the engagement session, what's in my bag. It's all different. If you, one of those sounds interesting to you, let me know in the comments below which bag you wanna see what's inside of. But on Claire's comment, the other bag that you've seen in some of my videos, uh, that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna talk about it the, the what's in it part isn't so much a deal because, I don't know, different things are always in it. It always changes. So a what's in my bag doesn't really apply because, rolly chair. Ugh. Whoa, rolly chair. <laughs> this is the Peak Design Everyday Sling 10 liter. It's kind of become my everyday bag. Normally I have, for like ever, the Peak Design Everyday Backpack 30 liter, which is the bag I've made a video about in the past. This has kind of been my go-to. It holds everything. It holds a 15 inch laptop, holds all my gear, photo, drone, more stuff on top. I, I, I just feel like I can pack this bag, but because it's so big, I do pack it. And then I end up with like a 30, 40 pound pack that I'm carrying everywhere. To kind of bring that down a little bit, I, I started carrying around this guy. In Maui, I brought them both. And when I bring them both on the plane, that works pretty cool. You can wear these together because, all right, this is how you wear them together. You put the everyday sling on first. Everyday sling is on. You bring that to the front and then you pop your backpack on like this. Does that look dorky? <laughs> it matches, so it's not like, is that dorkier that it matches? I don't know. It works great, that's the deal. The deal is it works great. And basically how I run it is all my gear goes in there. Uh, computer, photo, all the stuff. Everything that's heavy goes in my backpack. And then when I'm on the plane up here, it's like headphones, uh, snacks, some like cash, things like that, small things that I just want on the plane. And then when I get to Hawaii, I kind of leave this guy at the hotel, mostly. <sighs> Shoot, freaking rolly chair, man. And I cruise around on the day to day with this bag. And that's been a game changer because for a long time, this was like, it was just with me constantly. In Thailand, I brought this to every restaurant and, and hike and scooter riding. Everything we did in Thailand, I had this bag with me, which is awesome because there's a lot of stuff in it but uh, it's big, it's a big bag. Anyways, today's video is about this guy and a review on the Peak Design 
Everyday Sling 10 liter. I'm gonna talk about the pros, and then I'll get into a few things that are, that are cons. They're not huge cons. I don't really don't have a lot of cons for this bag, but there are some things that need improvement. So the 10 liter sling, it's pretty much been with me a lot lately. Uh, we're having a baby in, in like, math. We're having a baby in, in like 30 days. <laughs> so I've been keeping my camera with me more often, trying to capture a lot of this chapter in our life. And this has made it super easy to have with me and not feel awkward about always, you know, dangling on me. I can throw it in the bag and it's kind of a way. All right, the 10 liter everyday sling. Who's it for? What's it for? I think this is, it's like a day pack when you're trying to go light. It can hold a lot, but I don't think you should hold a lot with it. The, the idea with this pack is stay light, stay small, have, have, have something like this back at the hotel where all your stuff's in and then each day or even each thing you're gonna go do, choose from here the gear that you need and, and pop it in here uh, so that you're not like at dinner with your 15 inch laptop under the table. Obviously this can be used for way more than photo. It can be used uh, just for life. I've, I've actually kind of treated it like a, a man bag lately. One might say a purse. which what the crap? Why do women get to have purses? But it's like weird if a guy has a bag with him. We have things that we want to carry with us also. The first pro is, although it says 10 liters, and when you hear 10 liters, you're like, that's very small. This thing's big. Can you see? It's a big bag. That's not a little bag. This is a, it's got a lot of space in there. It can actually hold quite a bit. Yeah, so I would say my first pro for this bag is, is bigger than you expected. My next pro with the bag sticking with the main compartment, you can kind of see in there. See these dividers? Sorry, I gotta look at the thing. But these dividers have this little origami bit on them, which is super cool. They're also Velcro, so you can just kind of, you just kind of rip them out and move them around inside. So they're vertical dividers that can move side to side in the bag, but then wherever you put it, you can also fold it down to create like a horizontal shelf. And that's nice, because then you can put one thing down here and one thing on top of it in that same vertical Row, is that a row or a column? Column. So origami dividers, pro number two. Very cool, I dig these. Pro number three is the pockets. There are two main pockets on this bag. Don't listen to me. There's two pockets, there's no more than two pockets. I said main pockets, but there's just two pockets. The first pocket is up here, and this is like my go-to, because inside here, it's like this kind of stretchy material, but there's also these in here, like little pockets inside the pocket, which is super cool because that's where I put batteries. Uh, I tuck memory cards in there. I tuck uh, like the Allen key for Peak Design stuff. I put that in here. I keep my AirPods in here. I usually keep a pair of sunglasses in here. And all that is accessible because you bring it around, you open up the main compartment. It's, it's kind of right there. So you've got your gear here and then you've got this pocket that goes all the way across right up top. Uh, all the little bits kind of go in here. This is like my little bits pocket. The second pocket is on the front of the bag. Uh, it looks like a little pocket, but it has a secret. See how it's like not very big? It doesn't look like you fit much in there. But if you flip it on its side, undo the straps on the bottom and loosen those things all the way up. Look at this. That whole thing expands. See, it's a big, Look, it was like this, and then it goes blah. And again, it's tempting because there's so much space to put a lot in there. But again, with this bag, my recommendation is try to put as little as possible in the whole bag, uh, especially this front pocket. I wonder what could fit in there though. I wonder if, I wonder if this could fit in there. <laughs> what the crap? <laughs> All right, I didn't know it expanded that much. The front pocket of the 10 liter sling can hold a 70 to 200. Don't do that though. Again, don't put a lot in this bag. It's not, it's not for that. I'll tell you why later. There's a reason you don't want to put a lot in this bag. Definitely don't put this in the front pocket. Front pocket, I mainly use for plane tickets. Uh, I'll keep our passports in here if we're going international. I keep, I sometimes keep my slim wallet in here. Yeah, 
But the thin things, I like to keep it thin up front. I don't use the whole big pocket thing. The next pro is on the side of the bag, there's these strap things, this side and the other side. And that is so that you can mount Peak Design's capture clip. Now the capture clip does not come with this bag, that is $70 extra or 50 if you just want the capture clip if you've already got the Peak Design plates. But if you don't have the plates, it's 70 bucks to pick up this thing. And it's a pro that the bag has these straps vertical because it puts the Peak Design capture clip in like the perfect spot. I need a camera. So you have your sling bag on. Right here, I can just kind of reach back. I can push the button with one hand and get my camera like that. And then when I'm done with it, I kind of just grab it like this. I always look because hmm, hopes to look. And then I can click my camera back on. If my camera's on the outside, I could have three more lenses inside. This is basically a camera body and four lens setup now in a 10 liter bag, which is crazy. If you were to have a bag and a camera strap on, it's kind of turning your bag into a camera strap, right? So I could have a bag on with my lenses and then have a camera on a camera strap. And then I'd be doing this thing and trying to get in my bag to get lenses. This is just, nah. The much cooler and better and cleaner option is just to ditch the strap if you've got this bag on and just and just use the, uh, the bag as your strap to hold your camera. So it's almost like, I wonder if I could do this. I could. You could, don't do this, this is ridiculous, but you could leave your camera on and just and just grab it like this, rotate the whole bag up, and yeah, don't do that, it's, it looks ridiculous. It feels ridiculous too. The capture clip deserves its own video because it's so useful. On this bag, because it has that vertical strap, it really, it's designed for it. It's as if the same company made the clip and the bag. Weird, right? My next pro for the everyday sling is is the material. In my 30 liter backpack bag video, whew, I talked a lot about the, the weatherproofing and how I needed a duck cover. I remember saying that I thought it was pretty waterproof, but that if it poured down rain on me, then it might get wet. But we went to Thailand and it poured down rain on us and nothing got in that bag. I've seen videos where they take these bags and people put them like in their shower and they just run water all over them. Don't do that, I'm not gonna do that. That's crazy. It lets you know these are quite water resistant. Now don't go be ridiculous and like jump in a lake with it and be like, it wasn't waterproof and you said it was waterproof. That's why I'm saying water resistant uh, and not waterproof. Next pro is it's it's kind of padded. I wouldn't say it's the, the thickest padding in the world, but it's the whole bag all the way around on all sides and the bottom has like a, has a light padding to it, which, uh, I don't know, makes you feel okay about your gear in there. It's definitely not the most padded thing in the world, but it's not bad. The next pro is the iPad sleeve, La, tablet sleeve. It's the tablet sleeve. They say you can fit a 13 inch laptop in here, in the back there, and you can. I've seen the videos where people do it. It looks ridiculous. It's sticking out. And then you take this and you like fold it over it. Don't do that. Again, this bag, it's designed to be like minimal. It's like you throw just a few things in there. If you've got a laptop, get a backpack. I've seen it fit the new iPad Pro. Ah, I think iPad is probably the biggest you wanna go with this thing. It's not a laptop bag. So they say 13 inch, but again, don't. Yeah. The next Pro is, is something I don't ever use but it's good to know that you have it. This zipper pull that's a loop can kind of undo via this button-ish kind of thingy. You can then loop it through your front zipper circle bit and then button it again. Once you do that, it's, uh, it's kind of locked. So if you're on a bus or a subway or something like that and you were standing there and you kept it on your back, which again, don't do that, just swing it to the front. You kept it on your back, you can lock it so someone can't like pickpocket your bag so easily, like you can't open that zipper, you can't open that zipper. So it's a, it's a function, it's a feature. I don't use it, but you could 
Okay, now to the cons or the needs improvement section. And like I said, I don't have a bunch, but the one that I hear constantly, and this goes back to why I keep saying don't, don't stuff this bag full of stuff, is this strap. Look at the thinness of that strap. It is not a super padded strap. And I don't think that a super padded bulky strap would fit this bag. Like, it, again, the whole design is like, it's this small bag. It's this thing you can kind of just, you just kind of grab and, and you can just tuck it on things and jam it in places, jam it under your airplane seat. Even though it's big enough that you could hold a lot of stuff and heavy things, it's not made for that, so don't and then you won't have to complain about the strap being so thin because it won't be very heavy. When it's not heavy, that doesn't matter. Oh, another pro, I didn't even mention the strap because the strap is a pro and a con. The quick adjust strap, they've got this little feature here, which is also on their backpacks, but this little rip, you just kind of make it tight and then I can make it, I can make it loose to whip it around easier. That's, that's a pro, but the, the thinness of this strap, that's a con. My second of three cons is this handle. Now look, this is pretty, and I don't think that this leather piece is on the black one or the charcoal one. I think it's only on this ash color. So I think if you buy the ash color with the leather bits, this piece is leather also. Now that's cool looking, but when you're wearing a sling bag, where do you wear it? You wear it on your back, and if you go hike or do things and it's hot, what happens to your back? You sweat. We were in Maui, we went on a hike. I was wearing a white shirt, sweating, with a piece of leather across my white shirt. And when I pulled it around to do something with it, Morgan looked at my back and there was a huge brown, uh, like leather tanning dye on my shirt. So peak design, you owe me a t-shirt. Speaking of the back, this is my, it's my last con, but it's not so much a con, it's just like a, it's like an idea, right? I love hidden pockets on backs. They don't have to be big, they just have to be hidden, right? So this whole back panel would be an awesome place to sneak in a hidden zip pocket, somewhere where I could put like my passport or my plane tickets, maybe some extra cash, back here to where when it's on my back, it's against my, my body, uh, yeah, just, I don't know, makes you feel more secure. I, I put my passport in this pocket a lot, and like I said, I don't use the lock, and I feel okay about it, but that's also because I don't worry about pickpockets very much. I haven't been pickpocketed, so if you have, I'm sorry. And that is it for the Everyday Sling 10 liter by Peak Design. Uh, it's kind of my go-to bag right now. It's, uh, it's the one you'll probably see me wearing around more often than not unless I need to have my computer with me, in which case I'll take the everyday backpack. It's a good man purse. I hope this video helped you guys. If it did, think about subscribing. That'd be super cool. And hit the like button, cause that helps more than you know. I think a lot of the reason that this channel is blowing up so much is cause people are hitting that like button and that tells YouTube to show my video to other people, which is super cool, and I appreciate that. You guys are awesome. Hit up the Amazon link below. That'll take you to where you can find out more info about this bag uh, and pick one up if you like it. And yeah, I think that's it. Hit me up in the comments if you have ideas or questions about my stuff, things you wanna see for future videos. If it continues raining, I'm just gonna stay in my office and, and make videos from here. See you next week. I'd love to see that. Keep up the great work. That is not what she said. That's not the comment. I can't read. <laughs> Why is YouTube hard? YouTube's hard. <laughs>